I had to have a discussion with my blue yarn. <laughs> I had to tame him before I could continue with the videos. All right. So here's what we've done so far. We've worked round one, two, three, and four. And round four was one with the bobbles. So it was exciting. And it was red. So it was awesome. All right. So now we just finished the last bobble. And we're ready to hook our new color with a slip stitch. And the new color is um, B, which is blue. I like how that happens. B is blue. I'm going to hook it through with a slip stitch. And since we just did it with a bobble, that was kind of a tight spot there, I'm going to tie the loose ends to each other to help that be more secure since it's a bobble. I'm going to actually tie it in a knot and I'll untie it later. All right. So now I've got blue worked through and I am ready. I kind of twist it around and I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, that's better. <sighs> I'm still in the front, aren't I? Yeah, I'm on the front. Yeah, because the back has a different look to it. Let me double check. I want to make sure I'm right. Yeah, this is the this is the front because the back has all those loose ends. Now I have no doubt. So I've got that worked on with a slip stitch. I'm ready for round five with B chain three. One. Oh, got a fuzz. We don't want no fuzz in our dishcloth. Two, three. I think I did work three. I've got to be sure. I have to know. That fuzz messed me up. One, two, three. There. All right. <sighs> We're working round five. I'll draw a little line there to help me remember. One double crochet in each of the next two. Doing that right? Yeah. One. Two. I think I did that right. Yeah, that's right. Now, two double crochets in the next. One. Two. Now, it says... One double crochet in each of the next three. Two double crochets in the next stitch. Now before I do this anymore, I want to look at my chart and see where those two double crochets are supposed to be hooked on. Because they might be supposed to be at the top of each bobble. Yeah, that's what should be happening. So I should do my three chains. Then I do one double crochet in each of the next two and then I do two at the top of each bobble. So that's the good thing that's helpful about this chart. I can see how my stitches are supposed to line up. And I think I'm off by one because I think my... because you know you, these um, at the top of each stitch I get confused because it's always off to the left or the right a little bit. So I think that maybe I'm right. Yeah, I think I might be right. But I kind of like the way it looks better when it's off to the left of the stitch. Let me see how it works if I just keep going for a little bit. So I'm supposed to do um, two singles. Or is it three singles? Let's look at our instructions for row five. One double crochet in each of the next two. Okay. So... Ah, I see where I am now. 
when I started off I did one double crochet in each of the next two, then I did two in the next, then I did one double crochet in each of the next three. Ah. So that's the part I'm at right now. I need to do one double crochet in each of the next three. So that was one. Here's two. And here's three. And then I do two double crochets in the next stitch. And that's where my bobble should be. And it is off to the right of the bobble. So every time I'm doing it, it's off to the right. So I think that's right. It might look better if it's off to the left, but I'm doing it off to the right. What do you think? That always confuses me with crochet because it seems like my bobbles and stitches don't line up exactly the way I want them to. But I guess this is going to be okay. So now it says repeat from the asterisk. So the asterisk says to do one double crochet in each of the next three and then do two. So we do one. Two, three, and then we do two off to the right of that bobble. So I guess it's going to work. I wish I could see their um, picture a little bit clearer where their bobbles are. It looks like their two double crochets are off to the right of the bobble as well, just like mine are. So I'm going to live with it. <sighs> One. Two. Three. And then I do two right here. I think they were doing it right. That's it. So you keep working yours and I'll keep working mine and I'll see you in the next video when we're ready to start round six. Talk to you later. Bye.